yeah, we back. We back. Now, due to the fact that we have certain forces at play trying to create a divide between the continent and the diaspora, uh, this is why my channel is necessary to reinforce that connection. Now, today, man, we're going to be showing love to the family out in Benin. Shout out to Benin. And right on time, every year around this time, they always show love to the diaspora, more specifically, my home country of Haiti. So I got nothing but love for Benin, West Coast of Africa. You already know what it is. Now, this year, they are inaugurating a, a bust or a statue of the legendary General Jean-Jacques Dessalines. And last year around this time, I did a video because there was somewhat of a ceremony or you know a veneration ceremony for Dessalines in a temple out in Benin. As you can see, take a look up on the screen. So this is nothing new. This is nothing new. I mean, the connection between Haiti and Benin, it goes back over 300 years, man. And for those of us who are students of history, we already know that the woman that raised Dessalines, the woman that functioned as a mother figure in Dessalines' life, she originated from the modern day nation now known as Benin. So the connection between the two countries goes back to the founding fathers of the nation. Because not only Dessalines, but also Toussaint Louverture also has statues in Benin because he was the grandson of a prince from the Kingdom of Alada. I believe Toussaint Louverture's grandfather was the minister of war for the Kingdom of Alada which is located in modern day Southern Benin. And Toussaint de Retour also has statues erected in his honor in Benin also. But before we jump into the article talking about the inauguration of the new statue of Dessalines, let's talk about the history and the connection between the two nations. Now, Dessalines origins are often disputed and often subject to debate. But one thing that is never subject to debate is the origins and the identity of the woman that raised him. The woman that served as a mother figure in his life and took him in as the child and taught him everything that he knows. The identity of Dessalines' biological mother is unknown because due to the harsh conditions on the voyage coming into the colony, Dessalines' mother died shortly after her arrival on the French colony of Saint-Domingue. But Dessalines' mother made acquaintances and was good friends with a lady named Toya, who also arrived on the colony with them. And she entrusted Toya with the care of her son as she was dying in her final days. Take a look up on the screen. Adarabaya Toya, aka Victoria Matu, was a Dalme warrior and a freedom fighter in the army of Dessalines during the Haitian Revolution. Before the revolution, she and Dessalines had been enslaved on the same estate, and the two remained close throughout their entire life, with Dessalines calling her his aunt. Toya is believed to have been born in the kingdom of Dalmay in present-day Benin. Some sources indicate that she was a soldier there. It is unclear precisely when she was abducted and enslaved or when she arrived in Haiti. Before the revolution, Toya worked alongside Dessalines as a slave on the estate of Henry Duclos. She was described as intelligent and energetic, and shared a close relationship with Dessalines and the same hatred towards slavery. In the midst of the revolution, Mantu, which is Toya, her name was Victoria Mantu when she arrived on the colony, Mantu enlisted in the Haitian rebel army under the leadership of Dessalines. She quickly established herself as a dauntless warrior, fearlessly plunging herself head first into the heat of battle. Mantu became renowned for her ability to embolden her fellow soldiers with resounding war cries and unwavering valor. Throughout the state rebellion and civil war, she fought as an active duty soldier. There is at least one documented instance where she commanded troops during combat. Upon her passing, she was honored with a state funeral befitting of a national hero. The ceremony was a solemn affair, graced by the presence of Empress Maya Claire Ewes Felicité, that was Dessalines' wife, and a procession led by eight sergeants. The dignitary's attendance underscored her significance and acknowledged her as a symbol of resistance and liberation. And as we know, as the first head of state of the country, when he named himself Emperor, Dessalines gave Toya the title of Duchess of Haiti. So during her life, she was a high-ranking member of two governments. She was a member of the council back in Daomey, and she became the Duchess of Haiti decades later when Dessalines, the young boy that she raised, ended up coming to power. And this is slightly off topic, but that's why you never take anybody serious who's historically illiterate when they try to make statements saying, oh, the Africans sold us into slavery, the Africans sold us into slavery, when in reality, the history was way more complex and nuanced because as you can see, those who were engaged in the slave trade, they themselves were also battling against other nations who were capturing them and selling them into slavery also. So when it comes to that subject, nobody's hand is really clean. And in the grand scheme of things, it's a stupid argument because there are many of those who remain on the continent who lost family members who were sold into slavery, and there are many of those who were sold into slavery that never saw their family again. So whenever you hear somebody try to make the argument and say, the Africans sold me into slavery, you know you're dealing with somebody who's historically illiterate and chronically addicted to playing the victim. And in fact, I got a whole playlist on this subject entitled, The Slave Trade Debunked, where I go in deep on that subject anyway, go check that out after this one. But anyways, man, let's dive into the article that talks about this statue that's being erected, this bust of Dessalines that's being erected in Benin. Take a look up on the screen. 
Positioned in Ogunde Selim, a voodoo space in Abomi Kalavi, just north of Kotunu, the resin sculpture weighs in at 26 kilograms and measures 34 by 24 inches. Far more than its physical dimensions, it is the symbolic weight of this monument that resonates deeply. The bust is a vital part of the Haiti Benin project, an initiative born out of the vision of Haitian residents in Benin, aiming to celebrate and strengthen the bonds that tie these two nations together. The homage paid by Benin to Haiti highlights the shared struggles and triumphs of people around the world who have fought against oppression, colonialism, and injustice. It serves as a reminder that solidarity transcends geographical boundaries and that the resilience shown by one nation can inspire and uplift another in their pursuit of freedom and equality. Now, like I said, as it relates to Benin, this is nothing new. Uh, this is nothing new. Um, even after the revolution, the connection between the two countries was even further solidified when during the regime of King Henry Christophe, he actually imported soldiers from Benin to strengthen the Haitian military. I've done videos on that as well. And like I said before, it seems that every year around this time, they pay homage to the Haitian revolutionaries last year. As you can see up on the screen, they had a ceremony, a private ceremony where they gave homage and veneration to Dessaline in a temple out in Benin. And this year, they're inaugurating the statue, the bust of Dessaline in Benin. And also they have a statue of Toussaint Louverture already in Benin. So, you know, Benin always got big love for, for the Haitians, man. So I got big love for the folks out in Benin, man. It's family, you already know what it is. I'm not gonna make this video too long. Like I said before, there are forces at play trying to drive a division between the continent and the diaspora. And when it comes to me, I'm never gonna let that happen. Anybody who tries to advance that agenda or advance that ideology or advance that narrative, I'm gonna stomp on you. I'm gonna crush you like a bug every single time. That's why, even the other day, when I made that video about Cameron, I got love for Cameron, bro. I got love for Cameron. I got love for Dipset. I got love for Jim Jones. You know, you're talking about men who, who have made records that have that have left a mark on my childhood. But when it comes to certain things, bro, like, listen, I, I had to do it to him. I had to shit on Cam. I had to shit on Cam because when you try to advance a division between the diaspora and the continent, you have now positioned yourself to be my enemy. So I'm going to stomp on you every single time, man. You know, I don't care who it is. I don't care. I don't care who the fuck it is. I hate the fact that I had to do that to Cam the other day, but I'm sorry, man. Anybody trying to promote a division between the continent and the greater diaspora, I'm going to shit on you every single time. I'm going to shit on you every single time. I'm going to disrespect you every single time. And I'm going to I'm gonna minimize you every single time. You know, it is what it is. That's what I believe, and I'm standing on it. Anyways, man, it's your boy Never Card. That's a lean back in the building. Yes, indeed. Cash up on the screen, and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in the ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shoot. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart it be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play all my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so elite Shorty be chugged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces